Alrighty guys, now we're gonna get into the Clover Dining feature, which is really, really nice on the Clover Station in my opinion. So first off, we're gonna show you guys how to create a table and bar layout. So first, you're gonna go to your Clover Dining app, which is the fork and spoon, blue circle around it, and select that. This is gonna take you directly into your table map already. You can see with this device, we already obviously have some tables in there. But let's say we wanted to add a table. Go ahead and select the hamburger menu on the top left of your screen. Select edit floor plan. Now you're gonna have your tables that you already put in place. To add one, you're gonna hit the bottom on the bottom right, that green plus arrow. Now we're gonna add a table. So select add table. Table name, we'll name uh, table 21, for example. The table, you can either do square table, rectangle, or round. We'll do a round one. And how many seats? So let's say this one's a big table. This is an eight seater. Go ahead and select save. And now you're just gonna grab the table with your finger and you're gonna move it to the desired place. You can select the table to make it a little bigger. If you have a few tables in that specific section that's just like that, you can go ahead and select clone, select the table and move it so you don't have to follow those exact same steps if it's the same table size. You can also edit it from here. So if you did a clone, table 21, table 21, and select edit, and we can do table 22. Go ahead and click save. And that's how you add tables to your floor map. All right, guys, here's how you add a section on your Clover Dining. So you're going to go ahead and, like always, select that green plus arrow on the bottom right. I'm going to select Add Section. Section name, let's do Back Patio. We're an outdoor place out in California. Go ahead and select Save. So now you would scroll to your back patio, which we just set up. And again, you're going to repeat the steps from the first video by adding tables i'll do that quickly green plus arrow add table table name table one four people and it's a square size table again select the table move it to your desired place make it bigger if you want to all right guys here's some uh, cool little features on the clover dining so let's say uh you're selected on a table and all the items are printed. You can see here on the bottom left, this is how you would print your bill. That'll send automatically to your printer right here. Here is the customer's bill. They can scan this QR code and pay right on their phone, or they could just put their card or cash in the checkbook. Now, if you need more features, you're gonna hit those three little dots that were right there. I'll show you that again. Three little dots. Now you can see a bunch of features here. These are like quick, like quick, uh, quick options for the waiters and waitresses. You can refire to the kitchen, which will take selected items that you select, send it out to the kitchen again. So if they're waiting a little while and you want to remind the chefs, hey, let's make this food, go ahead and do it. Let's say uh, Janice is your server and Jessica comes in for her shift and it's during a table that's already open and her shift ends. You can go ahead and select transfer server and put a new server, Alex, employee, Mike, whoever, and transfer that server into the, uh, into the table. So now both will get credit. So later on when you're looking at your reporting and you need to see who gets the tip, you can see it right on there. Even if it's two people, you just split up the tips as you need. You also have print individual bills. So this is really cool because right here you see guest one got a chicken parm slice and guest two got a plain slice. If each guest is paying for their own meal, you can print their individual bills so each person that's sitting at the table will know what their bill is. So for example, this person who got the plain slice only owes 282. This person who got the chicken parm slice owes 507. Mike would get this one, AJ would get this one, and now we both know what to pay. A couple other cool things. You have ad pre-authorization. So if you're a bar and you have this Clover Dining set up, you can take the customer's card on file and keep adding to it. And then you don't need to ask for their card again at the end of the night. Once they say they're done or they leave, whatever, you can go ahead and close out that ticket. And then of course, add gratuity. So if they just say, hey, leave 20% at the house, there's an easy button right there. 
order discounts, you know, if you do uh, frontline workers or healthcare worker discounts, uh, first responders, that kind of thing that can be quickly accessed right here. Of course, you have these preset. And that's really about it. Everything else is pretty self-explanatory. You can add notes to the order as well. So if they have a seafood allergy, you can go ahead and let the chefs know about that as well. Go ahead and click save, and that will show up on all the tickets that get sent out to the kitchen.